Hey, Shalom, Brother Ara, coming to you with another video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. All right, that's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the Only Begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, elders, a great millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Shalom to all Yuakim and Yuakwa, those of the hopeful elect. And I uh, want to do a lesson going into America. All right, and. Uh, America is going to be eradicated off of the face of the earth, all right, completely destroyed, and uh, it's going to happen in our lifetime, okay, and uh, we're getting ready to witness this very soon, you know, Lord willing, we're part of the elect, and we get delivered from this, you know, very soon nuclear destruction. When you read Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9, it says, behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate. That land is speaking of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. America is going to be desolate. That's actually what eradicated means. OK, and um, we're in the time uh, leading up to a very soon return of our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh. Now, the Lord is angry. Uh, you know, pissed off. He's returning with vengeance, you know, very soon. And he's going to be coming with fire. So Yahweh Shai is coming with his chariot and the angels are going to have their chariots. But our Lord and Savior is coming with fire. And of course, we know what what fire does. It burns. So he's coming to as Ezra's received the vision in second Ezra's the 13th chapter going into how the Lord was shooting a blast of fire, turning people into dust. This is true story, something that, that we're going to witness very soon. As, uh, Isaiah 66 and 15 says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots, which the world ignorantly call UFOs, like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with fame, flames of fire. So he's come angry he's coming with um vengeance and he's coming with fire that he's going to use to burn to destroy okay to put people to flight to death um he's also uh, going to be fighting against uh these heathen and their military you know the stealth jets you know uh whatever other you know um war weapons weapons they're going to try to use against the lord okay which they're going to be afraid but the lord is going to put on their spirit to fight them Okay, verse 16 says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, meaning judge. It says, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So even Yahweh Shai is going to get busy when he get back, you know, bringing fire and, and, and uh, destruction, you know, upon this, this land and all of his enemies. Okay. Um, going back to Isaiah 13 and 9, it says, behold, a day of the Lord cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it now as a result when Yahweh Shai comes back as as we just proved he's going to bring fire and he's going to bring war which by the way he's going to destroy you know uh our enemies uh effortlessly man it's, it's not going to be no it's not going to be a match you know you think about Esau and all these uh, heathen nations in their military they're not going to be any match for for Yahweh Shine angels. OK, but as a result, once the Lord comes back to bring war, he's going to redeem the elect right before those nuclear missiles that's going to be shot off uh, hits here in this land. That's what true salvation is, be, getting beamed up in those chariots or in that chariot before uh, the nuclear destruction here. Isaiah 9, 9 and 5 says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. And this is speaking of ancient wars. The ancient wars were fought via hand to hand combat. You know, you got swords, you had, you know, fist fights, uh, whatever weapons that, you know, they used in ancient times against the enemy. You know, uh, you had, you know, um, the opposition would have horses armor, uh, daggers, all these different things, right? 
blood uh, squirting everywhere by people getting stabbed to death, all this other stuff going on. Heads getting chopped off, limbs, etc. It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. But this war is going to be fought differently. We're talking about World War Three. World War Three is going to be fought via the nuclear missiles. Another indication is sign that we're in the end times, because what do you see all these nations bragging about? For example, North Korea, you know, uh, is, is bragging about how they have, you know, missiles that can reach America in 15 minutes. Russia as well. You know, Russia is the 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 major military um, behind America's. OK, Russia has precise um Strong nuclear missiles that can reach here in 10, 15 minutes. Many, many missiles at that. But this is the Lord doing all these things. He's designed things to be the way it is. Um, there's a scripture that comes to mind. Actually, I want to get. Um, let's see. There we go. Isaiah 54 and 16 says, behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for the for his work. So the Lord created these these blacksmith, you know, the the team of knights, which are the Germans who he gave the mind, the mindset capacity, the uh, intelligence to build these nuclear missiles, you know, um, to uh, it first started with the um, uh, atomic bomb. Right. And then uh, eventually the technology increased to what we have now with those uh, missiles. OK, so the Lord designed all this. He set up, you know, Lord does things through men. So he set up um, the intelligence for them to create these powerful weapons. It says and that bring it forth the instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So the Lord, you know, gave the mindset of these Edomites, specifically the Timonites, the Germans, to design, and um, architect, build, develop, you know, these missiles. And what is it going to be used for? To destroy, uh, to lay a land desolate, this, this land of America. Very soon. Isaiah 24 and 20. See, we in a we in times of, of great destruction and, you know, we enter into this so-called new year where there's going to be a lot of uh, more prophetic in, in uh, what do you call it? Prophetic and intensifying things that happen that's leading up to these moments. And one of those major prophecies we're looking forward to is the MOTB, right? That implantable device. Isaiah 24 and 20 says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. And shall re shall be removed like <clears throat> like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. So this earth, the earth that we're you know living on, you know, uh, with all these all the countries and, you know, uh, the people who dwell and inhabit on earth is going to feel this earth real to and fro um, for those who remain outside of America. OK, so those who are uh, in America will be destroyed and put to death unless you're part of the elect and receive salvation from the destruction. Right. And then those who are outside of America is going to feel the earth uh, stagger or, or rock real, uh, back and forth from the missiles hitting America. That's how bad it's going to be. It's going to be an overkill. You know, it's going to be something on a whole nother level, man. This is that World War Three. All right, that's going to be fought via the missiles. Um, Jeremiah 50, and uh, I believe I want to start at verse 9. It says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, which America, uh, you know, in a lot of, um, you know, context or content, I said context is referred to as Babylon or Babylon the Great, that mystery Babylon. It says an assembly of great nations for the from the north country. So the leading forefront of that north country is Russia, 
Gog and Magog, which also have alliances that they are forming and who they are a guard unto. Iran being an example, China, you know, relations that uh, Russia is building with North Korea. All of these alliances of Russia have, you know, um, similar enemies. America. The Lord set it up that way. That division is going on. The Lord set it up strategically to be the way it is. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her in formation, right? Against Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. Remember the, the smith, right, that the Lord created to uh, build the waster? These are going to be um, expert, you know, uh, uh, intelligent, which they, which they already exist and are here now. But, you know, they're going to be, um, they're, they're created precisely, so to speak. All right. Precisely for the Lord's uh, will. It says the arrows, which are those missiles, shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. So every every missile is going to hit their mark is going to do exactly what they were intended to do. And that's ultimately to destroy uh, this land and the people in it, unless you're part of the elect. OK, so we're living in times where this place, which is uh, the main hub of the wicked rulership, the Edomites, the so-called white people that have pushed out. Nothing but wickedness, right? Homosexuality, women's liberation, which is all, all out of order. You know, they've turned everything uh, upside down, pushing out, you know, idols and heathen customs is uh, about to receive their judgments, you know, about to receive the judgment and destruction. And the rulership is going to be handed over to uh, the everlasting kingdom which was promised to Yahweh Shai, King David, and the order of, you know, the Israelites on down, okay? With the governing body, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the perfect order. As the scriptures say, uh, matter of fact, let me close out on that, Second Ezra uh, 6 and 9. Uh, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Esau is the forefather of the Edomites, the so-called white people. The end of their rulership, the end of their age is closely ahead. All right. In our lifetime, we're going to witness a transition of kingdoms. All right. Very soon. <clears throat> and it's going to go out literally with the bang <laughs> um, via those missiles. And it's going to be transitioned over. The kingdom is going to be transitioned over to a new rulership. That's going to be everlasting. And that's to the Israelites. Again, starting with Yahweh Shai. So, Lord willing, you're edified. All praises to Yahweh.